have you. So this spike in school threats all across DFW. Today we learned 16 students in Collin County alone have been arrested since that deadly school shooting in Florida. Our Dan Haggerty live with the story from the Collin County Courthouse in McKinney. And the juvenile judge I spoke to said that she believes these threats have been happening with increased frequency since Columbine. But people have always assumed that they were hollow threats, uh, hoaxes, or bad jokes. But just like a bad joke or sarcastic comment, she thinks that there is some truth that lies within and certainly nowadays should not be ignored. Social media school threats have been in our newscast almost every day since the shooting at a Parkland High School less than three weeks ago. It is a lot. It is a lot. And juvenile judge Cynthia Wheelis thinks it's not because there are more threats, but more people paying attention. We have had a significant uptick in the kids taking the other children's threats seriously. After our interview, she heard the case of a middle school student arrested Friday for allegedly telling classmates he was going to get his father's gun and shoot up the school. Because the student had potential access to his dad's firearms, the charge goes from a Class A misdemeanor to a third degree felony. That raises the risk level to the community um, when the child can get access to a gun. Judge Wheelis supports the Second Amendment, but sees this as a new responsibility for gun owners, teaching your kids not only how to treat and handle guns, but how to even talk about them. Because police in Collin County are taking every threat, joke, and post very seriously. Let law enforcement sort through it, and we'll decide if we've got a threat on our hand that is really serious, or if we've just got a kid that needs our help. And if it is a felony conviction in a case like a school threat, for instance, that can be detrimental to a kid's uh, well-being. It'll be difficult for them to get into college, for them to uh, get an early job, or for them to even find housing. Reporting live, Dan Haggerty, CBS 11 News.